What's up, welders? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me today. We are talking about 6010 rods and open root. That's right, 6010 open root. That's welding shit that ain't touching each other. You got it? All right. We're going to be using and learning a technique today called the whip and pause. You're going to draw a puddle with the arc and then whip out of it, allow it to cool and then come back in. The reason we can do that is because the 6010 rod that we're going to be using today is what is known as a fast freeze rod. That's right. That puddle is going to freeze up as soon as you jump out of it. We're going to be using a 1 8 uh, Lincoln 5P plus 6010 rod set at about 67 amps, but you go ahead and feel free to set it wherever you're comfortable. Let's get into it. Alright, I'm starting out here in the flat position. Uh, you're looking directly across from me as I'm welding, so it's moving across the screen. And you can see how I get the puddle, whip out, and come back. The 6010 rod is kind of a violent rod, a lot of spatter, a lot of sparks. Keeping a very tight arc, almost dragging that uh, flux on the metal there. As soon as I see that puddle freeze, then I come right back into it and put some more metal down. This is the uh, 6010 again in slow motion. This is half speed to give you a better idea of the actual motion of what we're doing. We're whipping out, coming back. Whipping out and coming back. Now this time I set up the camera looking uh, along the axis of the weld so you get an idea of the whipping motion of the rod. You can kind of get an idea how tight an arc I'm keeping. I may be keeping a little long of an arc here actually. Keep as tight as you possibly can and then we're just whipping and pausing like I said before. Here's a quick look at those uh, beads I just ran in the flat position. You can see the nice ripples. You can spread your whipple. You can spread your whipples out. <laughs> That's what they look like in the flat position. Let's go to horizontal. All right, with our piece now in the horizontal position, the well axis weld is horizontal. Uh, we're doing the same thing. We're angling our rod up just about 10 degrees. But the motion and the technique is just the same. Let's take a look at it again here in slow-mo. This is at one-third speed. You can see there's the puddle. Whip out, let it cool, and come back. Whip out, let it cool, fill it in. That's what we're doing. We're letting it cool, then we're coming back almost to where we started. Filling it back in. Getting that good penetration, getting nice... Uh, even ripple effect coming on there but the horizontal is really no different than the flat the technique is exactly the same let's move on to the vertical then before we go to the vertical here's a look at our horizontal welds you can see they look exactly the same as our flat welds and that's what we want regardless of the position we want everything to look the same All right, here's the vertical. Pardon me for being a little bit blurry here. I've got the GoPro mounted on top of my hood, and I had to zoom in a little bit to get this. But you can see the same whip and pause motion, just moving in the vertical position. Let's switch off to the uh, slow-mo view. I think I have my head crooked here, because... Uh, the coupon is definitely straight up and down. Who knows what sort of position I may have torqued myself into. But with the slow-mo, you get an idea of the motion. Whip and pause, whip and pause, boys. And girls, if you're out there. Girls can whip and pause, too. Whatever it takes to get her done. Alright, there's our reveal shots. For some reason, they're upside down. Striving for the same look. You can see I got a little case of the Wigglies going on there. Why the hell that came out upside down? 
All right, campers, let's put it all together. Here's some 3 8 inch plate beveled with the 1 8 inch land tacked together, held in the vertical position. Let's do some of that open root voodoo. Did you ever take karate? If you did, you probably learned how to break a board at some point. And they always tell you when breaking a board, don't think about punching the board. Think about punching through the board to what's on the other side. Well, that's what my teacher told me about welding open root. Shove that rod through to the other side. If you listen closely, you can hear uh, that it makes a different sound than welding with backing. You can, you can hear the arc force blowing through out the back. Again, the technique is the same. Get in the puddle, jumping out. Get in the puddle, jumping out. Like the boss said, pretend you're on a beach and the sand's too hot. Out, out, out. You're jumping up and down on that hot sand. Filling that gap, shoving that rod. All right, here we go. Here's the only view that matters, the backside. And as you can see, we do go, whoa, what the hell is that? That looks like a hole. We got some penetration here. And that's the key. You're trying to weld the back of the plate from the front of the plate. Hey, that's it for this episode of Adventures in Welding. Thanks for joining me. I hope you might have learned a little something about working with the 6010 rod. If you're a 30-year union welder, you already know about it. If you're somebody just starting out maybe it's some new information that can help you out like i always say i'm just a student so learn with me feel free to like comment share and please subscribe and i'll see you again on the next episode of adventures in welding